The first game jitters are gone now, Dick. Both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Memphis Tigers and the Purdue Boilermakers. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Boilermakers face a whale of an opponent tonight, Dick. How do they pull this one out? The keys to the game are simple, Brad. Number one, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Second, it's imperative that you win the battle on the board. And finally, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. Perfectly executed. And now they'll bring it up. They work it around the perimeter. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Moving it around the perimeter. The center gets the pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Jumps in. Stanley makes the finger roll. Up and inside. From left to the circle. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. it in Stanley fakes the shot he's going nowhere ball going stolen nowhere. it's going the other way that's where it's going turnover city baby you gotta eliminate those turnovers try to feed the low block a lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside they look to get it to the inside and he'll kick it back outside. The small forward gets the ball. That's good. Trying to feed inside. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Look at that spacing. The power forward with the ball. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The small forward takes the feed. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. Trying to go inside. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. It's that what makes college so special. The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Tries for two. He grabs the rebound. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. That's a 10 zip run. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Oh, what a 
strip red. Puts it up, looking for contact. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Number 14 with the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force. Blocks the shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. He gets the rejection. Coming is feeling great right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Here's the offensive drop step below block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Memphis are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Got it. <laughs> Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Looking for the foul. Up, easy one. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Perfectly executed. Both teams looking to get things going here. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. With the fake. The pressure that basketball, help one another communicate. He hits the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Great play to take that to the basket. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting.
turns it over. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries for two. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good space. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Nice shot. You can see on the replay how this one goes down. inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job a uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot coming inside the shooting guard takes the pass he unloads they get it to go Adam Momentary look from three-point land. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the dribble, gives it up. The crowd loves this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Stolen ball. Here they go into transition. Stinson pounded on his way up. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The Tigers will step to the line for the first time. It's the first. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. He's got a nice shot fake. Jump hook from the low post. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. He rejects it. They still don't score. Entry pass in the paint. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. That's worth another lob. They move it into the front court. With anticipation defensively. They work it around the arc. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That's a 7 nothing run. They work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Takes it off him. This team right now just lighted it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Up and inside. He pump fakes. Get that 
sucker out of the game, man. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He launches a three. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. All right, thanks, Aaron. Time out, Dick. He intercepts it. Defense got it after knocking it loose. He shoots from the angle, drains it. Purdue are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, that'll keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Shoots it. He drains it. Time to pick up the defense here now. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Looking for a good shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. He shoots from downtown. Sinks it. There it is again. He attempts the trifecta. You bet you. Tries the three. Purdue have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. From right at the circle, he buries the long-range bomb. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. Check it out, Mr. Vitell. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He goes to the free throw line. Cashed it in.
it right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help solid. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They're working around the perimeter. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's rewind that. The Boilermakers will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. And he's going to pick up the foul and, oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here's a flash from the post up high. Blocks it. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. On the dribble, gives it up. He does the sweet fake shot. With a little baby hook. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Tries for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Stanley picks up the defensive foul. First personal foul. He goes to the line for the first time. He misses it. Williams pulls down the offensive rebound. that ball movement get that good spacing for two perfectly executed gave it up intercepted on the outside puts up the tray he nails the bucket show me that one again it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the dribble, gives it up. He makes the block. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I tell the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. man in high post he shoots from long range way off target for the bucket he's money with the shot these fans are thrilled what a reaction what a response what enthusiasm And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Shot clock is dead. He shoots from right of the circle. Tickles a twine.
Step out on that screener. Here's a double team. We'll take the shot. Off the rim and no good. He puts it up at the horn. Way off target. At the half, the Tigers are trailing by two. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Too physical. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. In the paint with a little baby hook. I'd say great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the outside, well, handles the feed. He shoots from the angle. The Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. off the lazy pass. Marshall handles the pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Stolen away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. We need an instant replay for this one. Receives the pass. They'll work it around the arc. Takes away the pass. There's a steal. Jumped in front to take it away. Receives the ball. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be caught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Purdue is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He fires from long range. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. He intercepts it. Up and inside. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from right of the circle. Rims out. Gets it to fall. Moving it around the perimeter. Hit 
Picks off the pass. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Rotation over blocking that shot. They work the perimeter. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Taken away. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. the dribble gives it up almost lost the basketball Memphis are putting together a pretty good run here execution's been the key baby Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there I tell you doing a great job fronting him trying to beat him to the spot playing in front making him throw the lob pass over the top if you get help you can take that pass away up and inside Stolen. What a great strip. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. And working around the perimeter. That's a high post screen close to the lane. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Great defense. Gave it up. Takes it off him. Here they come now on a turnover. Buries it. He launches the bomb. He gets the bucket. That's a seven-zip run. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Double team now, bad angle. Kicks it out. He shoots from the top of the key. Great screen set up, but the shot will go. Moving it around the perimeter. From three-point territory. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got them at their mercy with the threes, Brad. open for the shot. Ten seconds to put up a shot. Perfectly executed. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle.
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He launches a three. Nice group. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with them. He makes the block on the outside. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic and they want that stopped before any further damage is done. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Steal. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Contact causes the shot to come off. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. In the paint. That'll take some pride on a defensive end. Pull up jumper from way out. Tries for two. In and out offensive rebound. Memphis are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. And now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Intercepted. For the deuce. Doesn't go. perimeter lets it fly makes the shot takes away the pass goes up for two up and in that's seven on answer steals the pass they won't let that go. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? With the free throw. First one, good. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He throws it up from downtown. He shows the sweet touch. There they come with a double team to stop it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. He intercepts it. They're off into transition. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Hey, 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He shoots from left of the circle. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked off. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Dump it inside. He tries to knock down the three. That was nice. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Perfectly executed. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. They work it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. Stolen away. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Memphis have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. He bombs from outside. Goes in. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And the ball goes out of play. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Fakes a jumper. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He buries it. <laughs> Fakes the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Great shot. <laughs> On the outside. Fakes it. Look at that spacing. Take it away. They get it out into transition. And a slam. It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. Can you imagine? I was a bad teacher. <laughs> Time to watch this game tape, baby, to see where you went wrong. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Blocked. The ball goes.
goes out of play. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. There's the trap. Fakes it. Up and inside. Too much. That's a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vital, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He's got a high post flasher. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steal. Transition opportunity coming up. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Picks off the lazy pass. Pushes it up. You can't be that aggressive. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. With the freebie. Hits that one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Second one is good. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Way off target. the ball. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block. He tosses it out. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. From right of the circle, off the rim and no good. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. shot clock got some room trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing looking for a good shot this is the big time that's definitely not the shot they were looking for Dick. yeah I'm not sure what he was thinking there Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play.
the Tigers graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.